Hey there everybody, Eric from Out of Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now today's video is about two months in the making. Now when I say two months in the making, I don't literally mean it took me two months to make this video. That's not at all what I'm saying. But what I am saying is the product we're going to look at today is this Trident 32 from the company VanQuest. Now for the past two months I have been carrying this VanQuest Trident 32. This is the Gen 3 model. So if you know anything about VanQuest, VanQuest essentially takes one of their bags, does a whole bunch of research, takes a whole bunch of feedback from all of their customers and reviewers like myself. They go back to the drawing board and make little tweaks based on the feedback they've received. And that's exactly what you have here today with this Gen 3 Trident 32. So for the past two months, I have been carrying this every single day. I've been formulating my opinions. I've been gathering my thoughts. I've been building this into an everyday carry system that I do use every single day without a doubt. I use this to get from my home into my vehicle, from my vehicle into my workplace. I carry this all over the place with me and I have a whole bunch of thoughts to share with you. So if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to talk about, do me a favor, stay tuned. So as I mentioned, today we are going to take an in-depth look at this Trident 32 from the company VanQuest. Again, being the Gen 3, we have a whole bunch of updates from the prior models. Now, I need to be honest with you, I have never used the prior models, so I don't have a real good basis to go by. However, I have been a VanQuest fan for a long time. I've done a whole bunch of work with VanQuest on reviews in the past, and this bag pretty much came to me as a result of that. So before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at VanQuest who actually presented me with this bag when I was able to meet him at this year's Blade Show down in Atlanta, Georgia. Does it fit? Fit me right? Does it look about yeah, the right part? See. Okay. Yeah, that's good. About, right. about uh, am I am I blade ready? Blade show ready? Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Nice. There. That's good. Yeah, there you go, man. You're solid. All right. Just gotta fix this. Yeah. <laughs> Try that out. Dude, thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate it. It's great to finally be here, oh, meet you in yeah. person, and um, thanks for stopping by. I've been a huge fan of Anquest, and I appreciate all the support. Absolutely. Working with you guys, and yeah. we'll continue to rock it. Awesome, man. So, dude, enjoy the rest Stay of your show. Safe -ish. Yeah. yeah, ish. Don't this is safe. It's a, it's a show. knife convention. Yeah. I mean, come on. So. I had an opportunity to go down and cover the Van Quest booth. I saw Alex and Michael from the VanQuest team. They were there doing their thing. They were showing off all of their wonderful products to the public. They were the bag company at a knife convention. And that's the thing that you really get from VanQuest. Not only do they have a great sense and great understanding of bags and EDC systems, tactical military style gear, but they also have a great in-depth understanding of the industry in general. So for VanQuest to be at the knife convention, it was very cool. I got a good chance to talk with them, not only about bags, but about knives as well. So at this point, I have used this since that day. I picked this up at the convention. I carried it around as my camera bag, as my carry system during Blade Show 2019. Now, if there's anything I can say, as somebody who's covering Blade Show, I shot over 40 feature videos, 40 features at that conference, and I was on my feet day after day after day for hours on end. So after six plus hours each day on my feet with this bag on my back continuously, it was pretty substantial. I already started to get a good feeling for this bag. And I have to say, it was definitely comfortable. A few things right away worth mentioning. I pretty much took the waist belt off of this right away. Now this bag does come with quite a robust waist belt. So if you're gonna use this for something outside of an everyday carry 
system, you definitely could consider using the waist belt. Now for me, I felt as though it was something that was going to kind of get in the way. It sort of did. If you were going to carry this in a hiking or a camping or backpacking situation, definitely I could see having it on there. I do have a good amount of weight in this bag, but I find that I don't need the waist belt for my typical situation. But the back panel on this is beautiful. It does a great job just feeling good on your back, nice and comfortable, has good ergonomics, fits my shoulders wonderfully. And if there's anything I have to say, it's not actually a coincidence that this padding is in the shape of a V. Now these shoulder straps are beautifully contoured. They fit absolutely perfect. I like the way VanQuest does their shoulder straps. Now they don't have the most in the way of ventilation, but they definitely have ample padding. And if you do look at the underside, there is ventilation. The ventilation does not necessarily go all the way through, but I feel in this particular case, you do get a good amount of function. What I like about these shoulder straps is the actual webbing that runs down the front. It's good for carrying different objects. For me personally, I actually like to carry a knife on my shoulder strap in the inverted position. Now I can't do that in my everyday carry system. It's not legal where I live. But in that regard, if you were going to do that, you certainly could. So using this in the wilderness, and in my case where I was actually at the blade show, it was perfectly fine to have a knife on my shoulder strap. It worked out very well. But in typical VanQuest fashion, you do have a lot of options. So between the load lifting straps on the top to help to really cinch the load close to your back, your hydration, bladder, rooting ports, and all the things that you need to kind of keep things managed while on your shoulders. You do have a nice sternum strap. You end up with a buckle with a whistle. All Duraflex hardware all over this bag. So very well done. And that's the thing with VanQuest products. Every single material is top notch, high end. You really can't beat it. It's a little heavy, sometimes a little bulky, sometimes a little stiff. However, when it comes to the overall quality and durability, you absolutely cannot beat it. And when I talk about things being a little bit stiff, that is what you'll find when you first get a VanQuest product. The materials are kind of stiff. The zippers are very firm. So for example, when you first start to run these YKK zippers up and down the zipper track, you'll find that they are very stiff and sometimes hard to move. But that to me is a rite of passage. That to me is the luxury that you get from getting a brand new VanQuest product with these heavy duty YKK zippers and the heavy duty Cordura fabrics. Now in this case, you have a combination of 1000D and 500D Cordura, nicely placed in strategic locations. But again, it starts out stiff. But for me having this for a couple of months, now these zippers just run absolutely beautifully and perfectly up and down these zipper tracks. And that's the thing that you get to break in your bag. You get to break it in and enjoy it. You kind of go through that rite of passage where it starts out a little bit firm, a little bit stiff, but over time it breaks in beautifully. It's one of the things that I've come to greatly enjoy about these VanQuest products. So going through the features of the exterior of the bag, we are gonna start from the back. Now I already talked to you a bit about the back panel and the shoulder straps. You'll see on the back panel, there is a hydration port. So you can basically root your hydration straw through here. This is hydration bladder compatible. There's a good stiff back plate in here to give it a nice overall rigidity. And this definitely has good quality lumbar support, plenty of padding, and especially when you add the waist belt. Getting into the back here, this is excellent. A little grab handle on the side, but for me, this is where I keep my laptop. Now this is my work laptop. That's the thing about a system like this. You are able to bridge the different parts of your life and keep them organized. So for me, an EDC bag, it's not about my home life. It's not about traveling in the vehicle. It's not about what I'm doing at work. It's about combining all of those into an efficient system so you have everything you need at your fingertips. You're not forgetting anything. It goes where it belongs. It's an efficient system and it's built to meet your needs. But that's one thing you will notice about all the pocket linings. This is high-vis interior. Now, when you get into VanQuest with their black, their wolf gray, sometimes they have the black multicam, the orange on the interior really pops 
Now, not that it doesn't pop with the tan, it's just not quite as important. The features of that high-vis interior really make a big difference when you get into the darker colors. The tan's light enough that you kind of would end up with a nice light interior anyway, but the fact that you have that high-vis definitely works out, and these pockets are made of a number of different materials. So you end up with a lightweight ripstop nylon on one side, but then this nice Velcro backing inside here, which allows you to use this maybe if you have concealed carry maybe you want to have some sort of pouches or any sort of velcro things that stick in here for me personally I just use this right now for the laptop it's about the perfect size I have a fairly thin laptop for work fits in here nicely and keeps it good and safe now the next thing that's a key for me and really bridges my home life and my work life and you'll see here the very front pocket this to me is the absolute perfect place for me to keep my notebook. So here's my pop-off leather notebook. You'll see on the sides I have my tactile turn pen and pencil. But this to me is something that again bridges all aspects of my life. So having it right in the front of this bag, it fits perfectly. This is a nice size pocket right in the front. Again, you end up with that high-vis interior, nice zippers, very easy to get to. You can actually use the snaps here to give you a little bit of security if you want. For me, one of the things that I find is I don't often snap these. So you'll see there's a couple of these on the bag, basically as keepers for different reasons. Now, I'm going to have a couple of small critiques, again, with VanQuest and their ability to update and reissue their bags with different suggestions and things that make sense. For me, these kind of now, if I don't use them, just sort of flop around. I think what I'd like to see is maybe an additional snap. So where you have the female side, I'd like to see an additional male side of the snap. That way you can kind of clip this together. It keeps it a little bit, uh, I'd say, uh, more at bay. It also provides an additional loop at that point where you could use it maybe for something else. Just the ability to maybe snap this out of the way where if I'm not going to be using this, at least it kind of tucks it out of the way, keeps it so it's not flapping in the breeze.